Hello and welcome back to Hardcore, Millie's Hardcore Minecraft. How y'all doing today? I hope you're doing fine and dandy. As you can tell, there's been a lot of changes around here. And some of that you have seen in the little time lapses before this clip, as before this intro, obviously. We have gotten more of our sugarcane built up. I connected the ponds, and there's a lot of cows here, so I apologize. Lots of, lots of cows. Um, connected this stream to kind of like an aquifer that's down there, so it looks more connected and finished. Um, yeah, I've managed to kill a couple pillager teams that have gone through here. They, they tend to spawn over here, above here, and then over there. And then a few in the water from time to time. So, um, getting there, getting there. Um, I need to go and get those uh, the fallen tree leaves here. Let's go get the saplings right now, and then you can kind of get away from these cows. Um, we did finally get enough sugarcane and enough leather in order to make our full and complete enchanting set. And as you can notice, we have now hit level 32, or I've hit the level 32. Um, oh yeah, 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 give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me all these. All the wood I can, I can use for all this stuff. So obviously we will not leave this as our only base, I promise. This is just our mine entrance. I think I'm going to build up on this hill at some point. That's kind of been my decision. Maybe something very grand and beautiful, maybe. Um, provided that we can get through the early game grind. So we're still going on the early game grind. Um, I now have pumpkins and I went into the mines and ended up finding a skeleton spawner down there. So we do have the possibility of an XP farm very, very soon in our future. Obviously we need to go to the end in order, I mean to the nether in order to, uh, get the soul sand that we need. Of course, we could probably go get that down in our ancient city, but I am terrified of the ancient city more than I am of the nether. So that's gonna, we'll see. So in here, as you'll see, have seen from some of the smaller time lapses that I did, um, I opened up this whole space. We put some nice deep slate blocks in. I've finished my enchanting setup, so this does have full enchanting level 30, and we are at 30, so we are going to do that here shortly. Um, I'm getting the chests and things in. That's why I got all of this spruce so that we can put in plenty of storage. Right now my bed's right there, but it's probably going to get moved. I have a spare bed for whatever reason. Um, this doorway goes through a tunnel. I'm eventually going to get villagers in, because I think I'm going to put a villager hall back in this uh, mountain, along with our storage room here. So we'll probably open this wall up at some point, extend the storage hall all the way back as much as we can, bring the villagers in. They're actually way over that way was our original village so if i get mine carts and stuff we'll be able to bring them in through here if you happen to see any of my my streams yes i have done some streaming on hardcore just a little bit like a half an hour or so it's not a big deal um i found a um a small iron vein so i do have a little more iron now i almost have two full stacks of iron and diamond everything well not diamond everything for tools but diamond all of this so very soon we want to get villagers in so that we can get some mending and not just on my shiny pants because they are shiny pants but they're they're not what we need so um got this stuff set up for us to go and i did pull this out to see that there's unbreaking on here, and I'm hoping there might be efficiency to go with it. It would be great. So let's cross our fingers that this is what we're gonna get. Cross our fingers. And... And what is it? Oh, you get... Alright, well, unbreaking is at least better than nothing, but... Okay, 
That is why we need villagers. That is why we need villagers, because they just sucked up three stinking levels on them breaking, and that's it. But at least we have a diamond pickaxe for a little bit longer in order to do more mining in our mines. And yes, I did a little bit of tweaking down here. So we have our safe mine, and this actually goes down to our skeleton spawner, and then there's our not finished mine. I'm probably going to widen this one, honestly, and dig it down that way now. And then we have our ancient city. So eventually we will get down to those and do what we need to do. But we're going to head down here so I can show you what I found. But ta-da! And I've already taken out everything. So there were actually two chests. Um, there was a skeleton that was hiding right in here. And almost killed me. I got down to three hearts. It was It was super scary. I was like... Like, my heart was pounding, and I realized at that point I was doing a bad thing, and I should have been recording the entire time. And I wasn't. And, like, my life flashed before my... My hardcore life flashed before my eyes. And I was like, oh no, I am going to die here, and nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna see me die. I don't have it recorded, and so much for that series. Um, but thankfully I didn't die. <laughs> So, and then I found this. So I think this is an iron vein and I can't prove it yet. No, 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 I can prove it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I totally found an iron vein right next to the skelly spawner. And there it is. There's the proof right there. There is a block of raw iron ore. So we're going to need to dig this out before we finish or around about the time we finish the skeleton spawner. Or, like, make an XP farm, because obviously that's going to be awesome. Plus, we'll get all the bones we need. I think there's, like, an empty spot not too far away from here, too. Because I heard a skeleton rattling. Maybe not right now. Um, but yeah, so two for one, iron vein. And I'm kind of tempted to leave this here, so... Just to mark it. Um, and then I tried digging up that way to get back up to the surface and realized that that was not going to work. So uh, that is why this is here and marked the way it is. All right, bright and early uh, next Minecraft day. And we've got a boat. We've got, well, we got a chest boat. We got a bed. And I decided to leave the diamond armor behind because, nah. Obviously, if we died, we're not going to have it anyway, but I also don't want to get it broken if something happens. So, that does not make sense, honestly. I just realized that. Um, but we're just going boating. It's, it's, it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. We're just, we're just taking a boat. It'll be okay. We're looking for some goodies. And, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Did not realize that I would have a Badlands this close to spawn. Spawn's over that way somewhere. I decided to come the opposite direction from where we live and, well, check a look at this. Nice. Okay, let's, we'll take a little bit of this home in a few colors just so that we have them. It took a very, very long time. I had to cross over this mountain here to find our first exposed mine shaft, and it looks like maybe over there too. There we go. Now we're talking. Ah, this is what I wanted. So we can get our villagers. Back from the village and moved over to where we are. And there's a zombie there. Uh, not great, but something. Nope, don't want any. Excuse me. Nope. <laughs> I found an actual desert, and there are azaleas here, so there's a lush cave. Oh, and it's raining. So that's why this zombie friend is absolutely fine at the moment. Come on. There you go. And I saw this 
village over here. And I wish we were on 1.20 already because that desert well would be awesome to have. It's an abandoned village. Like, abandoned desert village. I've never found one of these before. And the zombies, villagers are still alive. Oh. Barely. <laughs> it's raining. If there's any way I can trap them in. Or they all die. Come here, bud. I'm gonna come back here eventually. Providing I don't die. this terracotta back but It's literally the most villagers, the zombie villagers, I've ever seen survive. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to bring this, this village back up eventually. But, not now.
¡Tarán! Well, after that very disappointing enchantment of only a protection three and nothing else, and we're definitely going to strip that, I, I've actually, you know what, we're, we're going to do it now, this, this protection three on the boots are bleh, garbage. Um, but now that we've done that, I did find six more diamonds, so I should be able to get probably a couple more tools. And as you can tell, I have changed up the storage room a little bit more. I do want to dig off this wall and start that process. But next week, I believe we are going to go to the nether. Um, because of the fact that, well, I definitely need to get some more levels. And having an XP farm will be the thing to do. But I have my mangrove trees planted now, the dark oak that we brought back, the bamboo that I found, the cactuses, which I need to fix because I realized that I put the fence in the wrong spot on that. But otherwise, we are looking a lot better. We just need to get, we just need to get enchantments going so that we can start doing more and exciting adventures around this server. So I hope you had a good time. I will be back in two weeks with Hardcore. In the meantime, I hope you have a great one and stay safe and have fun playing. Bye, guys.